planet Earth. Art is in the middle of it. You can't escape it. It's the same thing if you're a Martian. YouTube has connected creative people from across the world. In other words, it's the heart of the artichoke. Millions of people have uploaded art to YouTube, and it's our job to be the main artery for visual arts articulation on YouTube. My partners and I are smart. Together, we form a creative cartel, and every month, this department will bring you articles that are on point and never artificial. I am Pablo Van Warhol. I'm the quarterback of this show. This is YouTube Art News. It's so powerful. It's so elegant in its simplicity. And it's so clear to me that the artist is trying to indicate the need for world peace. It's such a brilliant and powerful statement, truly ahead of its time, don't you think? Do you really mean that, or are you trying to impress the girl? Well, 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 if it isn't Pablo Van Warhol, my old rival from art school. So, Pablo, I hear that you're trying to build an art community on YouTube. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, I'm an art historian. YouTube will never be a part of the art world. Well, you may call yourself an art historian, but I'm an art hysterian. So why don't you listen to this? I blew your mind like a pilot. He died an alcoholic. You can't digest me. Shit, now you got the colic. I'm red and yellow and blue, and with the arts I bring the news. My swag is lethal, girl. Shit, you could be my muse. You're half fast, I'm light fast. I beat Picasso blues. I'm 45 at my face, and I put them all to use. Don't play yourself, hater. You better call a truce. My middle name is Vance, so go and cover your ears, my dude. No hablas inglés, so let me speak it to you rude. Your ego shattered everywhere. We got some breaking news. So far, this was my beacon, because I'm only getting loose. You're inert, you're earth dirt, and I'm more like a pigment tube. Your brain is saturated with verbal archival glue. Godfather run on YouTube, man, so who the hell are you? But, but, that's no fair, I can't rap. Oh, I'll get you next time, Van Warhol. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you tonight, and it's dedicated to covering the great contributions that YouTube artists make to visual arts rich history. That's right, we're making history. Leading off, we have Yaz Creative, who is going to uncover some unappreciated talent. Next, Tyler interviewed Darren James Ray, also known as Ray Art. Then, the most beast mode artist on YouTube and his imaginary cousin will bring you the most viral art video of the month. Followed by Matthew Keeney, who will show you the largest drawing in the world. Then, Thad will highlight the art and music of Paul Alexander Thornton. And last but not least, Orange Monkey 92 will bring us subscriber rankings of the top 25 artists on YouTube. Just hit the links below to zoom around. Oh, I'm pumped. Let's get started. You see something beautiful, you capture it on digital media, put an effect over it to enhance the mood you're trying to express and publish it. That's all this is, and that's to me, is a big part of the definition of art. These are the words of Eddie Bergman, the YouTuber who likes to make artistic videos. Eddie tried to use video as an impressionist painting. He tried to paint a mood using moving images. The meaning is never straight there to be seen. It is usually meant symbolic. This is a channel of Aliki73. I asked Alekin what is the inspiration and motivation behind his art and he said it's probably it's perhaps the finished creation itself. 
there is tremendous satisfaction in being able to create a work and see how it impacts and inspires others. This is a channel of Saiyan Artist 17. Saiyan artists make time-lapse videos, tutorials and book reviews. He likes to do cartooning, portraits and digital paintings. Saiyan Artist 17 wasn't really given an opportunity to pursue art as a career, but YouTube has allowed him to share his art with the world as well as learn from other artists on YouTube. In a way, YouTube has allowed the opportunity to do what he always liked to do. Please visit our Facebook page. you find the link in the doobly-doo. There you can submit suggestions for who you would like to see future in this part of the art news. Anything that is simply creative. Darren James Ray is a Canadian painter. He's somewhat of an art pioneer on YouTube, posting his first video in 2006. Believe it or not, he has posted almost 450 videos on YouTube. He has a distinct style that you'll never forget. He's not Man Ray, but trust me, Ray is the man. Let's take a look. What's going on everybody? My name is Tyler from Tyler's Art Check here on YouTube, and you are watching YouTube Artist Interviews. Today on YouTube Artist Interviews, I was fortunate enough to sit down with Darren Ray from Ray Art. Darren is an abstract painter with over 400 videos and has almost 15,000 subscribers. In this interview, I asked Darren how he got his opportunity to get the chance to make a custom painting for the Shaytards on YouTube. First one I did was a family portrait and then uh, he uh, got that in the mail and opened it up on his uh, daily channel there. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then so on the channel he also mentions like, uh, I have another request to do uh, a larger painting and then he kind of told me in the video. So he never really told me on email or anything. He kind of presented it right on the video. So as I'm watching, I'm like, okay, I could do that. The way I found out is I actually got an email from some person, and they're like, oh, sure, Carl sent you a tweet. You should check it out. I'm like, what? So I checked out my Twitter, and it said, uh, I want to have one of these paintings in my office. That's all it said. So I contacted <laughs> him, and then uh, we went from there. I yeah, remember watching fun. the video where he got it, and then he, you know, he, in a lot of his oh, yeah, videos, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see it in a lot of them. It's up in the well, at least back um, before. Yeah, when he was in Idaho. Yeah, you you There's always the saw it like every day. Yeah. yeah, that must be nice seeing your. I don't know if you watched him a lot or not, but you know, seeing your creation just, you know, in some famous yeah, YouTuber's cool. wall. That, yeah, that's gotta be a huge inspiration. Yeah, I still watch the shade tires like every day almost from there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, did That's you awesome. did you see like a a big fan base boost from that or like how would that go? Oh yeah, out? huge. I think I was at like 6,000 subscribers and I jumped up to like uh what was it? Like 12,000 or something like that. Like oh, huge. No. It just went up and up. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed my artist interview segment. If you would like to see the rest of the interview, it will be up on my own channel, Tyler's Art Shack. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Okay, here's the art joke of the day. What do you call it when you draw or paint really fast? You call it Russian art. <laughs> What if I told you that there's a Russian finger painting video uploaded in January of 2012 that is almost 12 million views? For comparison's sake, that's nearly 4 million more than Mark Crilly's most popular video. So we can conclude one thing. In Russia, finger painting is very popular. Let's take a look. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's Josh Whitey 16, aka Indie Joshua Art, aka the most beast mode artist on YouTube. Coming at you again, I'd like to welcome you back. In my segment, we're going to be going over the person that I picked for the viral art video of the month. And I have a special treat for you guys. My cousin Billy actually decided that he wanted to tell you guys who the viral art video of the month was going to be. I was like, you know, being the nice guy that I am, I said, okay, sure, I'll let you do it. 
And he promised me, he promised me that he was going to dress appropriately for the occasion. So I got him up in the studio. Let's go ahead and go over there and see exactly what he has for you guys. Billy, fill us in. Hey, and that's enough from Billy. Okay, thanks, Billy. I think you uh, covered everything that you needed to cover. Um, anyways, guys, uh, this the guy that I picked is... Okay, everybody's finger painted when they were a kid. Remember finger painting? Okay, well, this guy takes it to a whole new level. Okay, he blew my mind when I watched the video. I can't pronounce his name, so I'm just going to link it. I'm going to link you guys the video. And I'm going to link you his Facebook page so you guys can go check him out, support him, show him some love because this guy deserves it 100%. And the video has like 12 million views in a couple of months. Okay, that's 12 million. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to be it for my segment. We enjoy putting these videos out for you guys. The art news is definitely something that needs to be around. We enjoy everybody that comes by and checks it out. So I hope you guys will come back again and share some art news with us. Josh Waddy 16 aka NU Joshua Art, Viral Art Video Report, Beast Mode Artist on YouTube. Peace! Plain air painting was a popular technique innovated in the 19th century with the advent of resealable paint tubes. Artists would go outdoors and directly observe imagery that they would translate into brilliant paintings. Well, this is the 21st century Fragnard, and there's a new type of plain air painting. It's done with planes in the air, with the help of a GPS. Let's take a look. Check out what I got this month. It's a package um, from the artist uh, Eric Nordenanker, who's a, a Swedish artist, and he's our artist of the month this month here on uh, 3D and Conceptual Art on YouTube News. And what Eric did was Eric made the world's largest drawing. What he did was he sent around a package like this that had a GPS unit in it, and as it flew around the world, it drew a portrait of his face on the video. The video is really great. You got to check it out. Um, it was filmed back in uh, 2008, so it's a little bit old, but it's still a good one. It's amazing. Um, I've been showing it to people all day today. So when you get a chance, uh, check it out. All right. I want to take a second to remind everybody to visit our Facebook page and give us some input on our show and the various segments. It's facebook.com slash YouTube Art News. The link is in the video description. And now it's time for Thad Taylor to highlight the 2D artist of the month, Paul Alexander Thornton. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the 2D art feature. I'm Thad Taylor and today I'm going to bring you guys Paul Alexander Thornton. Paul Alexander Thornton specializes in mainly skulls and floral designs. He seamlessly mashes the two together. Paul's detailed ballpoint pen techniques renders beautiful shadings of both of these subjects. The technique he uses to create these beautiful shades is called hatching. He plays amazing acoustic guitar solos that set the perfect mood for each one of his drawings. They also help convey the majestic feel of his artwork. I created a playlist from some of my favorite videos from him. The link is in the description below. Go check it out and if you like his videos as much as I do, hit his subscribe button and like some of his videos. So I'm going to leave you guys with a snippet of one of his guitar solos.
click the annotation right here to go to a playlist of my videos. Subscribe to the YouTube Art News, like and favorite this video, and share if you can. I'll see you guys next month. For the last segment of May 2012 Art News, we will show you the top 25 art channels on YouTube based upon the number of subscribers. Just click on any of the channel names to visit the channels.